mosquitoes are thick so I'll make this quick look at this it's like some kind of fungi man but it's got a bunch of these little flies that are all attracted to it I thought it was dog crap it's gonna sit down on a log and have a cigarette apparently someone's already been back here doing that looks like a little fireplace too but yeah man I saw this Look at it. I mean, I've seen fungus before. I've seen black fungus, but it's normally on the water. I haven't seen much of it on a tree that I can recall. The little flies were loving it until I showed up. That's bloody dodgy. Yeah. Oh, what do we got going on here? This wasn't here last year. Must be a big hole in the path. Yeah, it's a big hole from the water going down. Coming down the hill. <coughs> this is the far side of the park the furthest point you can get and then you're by those houses out of the million dollar homes along the waterfront they're starting over there <coughs> yeah I'm gonna have my quick cigarette and keep walking before all these mosquitoes eat me I see a lean-to up there someone's home smart people man I'd be living out here too if I had no choice which might be an option in the future. Hopefully not. All right. God's country. It's definitely beautiful. I enjoy it quite a lot. Besides these mosquitoes. I normally bring bounce sheets with me. They kind of repel the mosquitoes. You just rub them on your clothes. Rub them on exposed skin and then just put them in your pocket. The scent kind of keeps them away. I didn't buy it, man. I heard it for years, and then I started doing it in the thick, thick bush. And they still come, but it's a lot less. So, it kind of works. The key is to rub them all over your clothes, all over your skin that's exposed. Not just putting them in your pocket and hoping that it works. Yeah. My foot's really bad, man. It's swollen up. That's kind of like the way things happen, man, when uh, I need to depend on something. It, burdens get thrown at me because I'm losing my car. I need my feet. So I was literally just thinking last week, hey, I'm all right. I've been walking around. I park my car and I walk. and I can use the bus and just walk here and there when I need to. I just have to rest a lot. But And then literally yesterday and today, I woke up today, my foot was like... I got spider nevi, it's when your little veins, tiny capillaries explode and then they show up like blue on your skin. I had a bunch of those like on my foot. Um, yeah man, so it's like starting to turn a little blue and it's swollen up. But it feels good and I'm out and about moving like I feel the pain, it's all squishy in there but if it doesn't stop swelling down or the pain doesn't stop hurting, I'm going to go into hospital. I was having shooting pains in my heart too. I get weird heart attack symptoms, but I've been admitted to ER, I don't know how many times for them, so I don't even go anymore. There's no point. There's nothing they can do. Um, yeah, they just keep you there for six hours, checking your white blood count, see how many uh, platelets have been released in the blood, and that's how they tell if you've had a heart attack, a mild one, or blah, blah, blah. So literally, that's happened over 50 times, so and each time it's the same result, no, you're fine, go home. So... I have a heart specialist and she thinks it's a rare condition of the heart that gives you heart attack symptoms but you're not actually having one and it's enough to fool the hospital like I said it's been like over 50 times and each time they keep me in for those six hours while they're checking the blood and everything else one time it happened I couldn't leave because my heart went arrhythmia and they wouldn't let me leave till it goes out of arrhythmia and I have a rare type of arrhythmia they've given me like halter monitors to wear like probably like five years now I've been seeing her probably like just going on 10 years 
And each and every time it never catches it. But it caught it at a merge one time and they wouldn't let me leave, so. Yeah, I guess that's my point, man, is uh, the burdens that get thrown on you from below. <laughs> you know, what can you do? You just smile and smile and continue. So yeah, when I need my feet, then now they're failing me. Um, and then that shooting heart attack pain, and then the same weird nerve pain, and vascular pain in my right elbow, not the left one. Normally you have associated pain with the left one when you're having weird heart attacks. Um, and I had a few of those too, man. It was weird. It was just coincidence. Well, nothing's really coincidence, but they were shooting pain down my left arm at the same time. So I was thinking like I'm full out having a heart attack. Time to go, you know. Um, yeah. So this is a vascular thing, man. And I have a bruise that shows up right here on the inside of my thigh. Or the inside of my, my leg, my calf down there. So it's not a place where you bruise. Like you don't hit things like that normally. And it's been showing up there for years. It's like a reoccurring bruise. That showed up last week. I just brushed it off. Again, there's nothing they do. It's just, you know, it's a vascular part of my condition. You just get bruising that shows up here and there. Uh, so, yeah, but now I notice that there's something going on with the foot, my arm, the weird heart. So, yeah, I'd probably be going in. If things don't get better soon. Okay, folks. I don't know why I kind of went on that rant, <laughs> but it's not really a rant. It's just about timing. And now when things are thrown at you, like the ups and downs of life, don't uh, don't fret them, man. Just kind of go with the flow. Know where it's coming from. Remain in prayer. Remain in positive thought. And no matter how worse it seems, like look back on your life to other events that have happened that were maybe worse, and how you got through them. But if you can remember how you were thinking and how you're worried and stressing about it when it happened way back in the past and how you're fine now, it helps to take control of current situations or future situations that come up. Helps you cope with them easier, man. Just knowing that, that you've been through worse and you'll get by it. And always have God and Jesus on your side and helps you even more. Quite a lot. Okay, folks. Let's end it on the black stuff. There's none anywhere else. Like none anywhere on these any of these other trees. None over here. None over there. None over here. None. Very right here. And you can see the white from it. Like it looks like it's maybe it was once some kind of poop and now it's turned into this. Fungi, because the poop looks like it's under the stain, the white stuff. Who knows? Who knows? I wonder what lives in all these little holes. Let's see. You keep an eye on, but you can't come in. Alright folks, God bless. Enjoy the greenery, the scenery.